Dr. Yusuf, I'm not going to ask you too many things about your book, as I know it is not released yet, but I would love to hear something about your general thesis. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sab. Uh, this uh, particular book essentially looks at uh, crisis management where nuclear weapons are involved. Uh, it does not mean that nuclear weapons were used or were going to be used, but any countries that have nuclear weapons, regional countries, um, how do they manage their crises? And so far, the world has looked at nuclear crises from the lens of the Cold War, uh, the US and the Soviet Union. The difference now is that crises are happening between countries like India and Pakistan, who are not the strongest countries in the world. And so when they operate in a crisis environment, they also have to cater to the influence of stronger third parties, the US, uh, UK, Russia, China, etc. So what this book does is looks at India-Pakistan crises from 1998 when both countries tested nuclear weapons and then studies how the US uh, specifically but also other third parties influence crisis behavior and what that means for the risks involved in terms of escalation to a nuclear war uh, or a major conflict um, in a nuclear environment going forward. And so what I do is present a new theory, but also empirics to say that the Cold War model that used to look at only the superpowers uh, as a bilateral crisis, uh, we need to change that thinking because all regional crises with nuclear powers are going to involve stronger third parties. And we need to study this as, if you will, a trilateral engagement. Hmm. the two crisis countries and the larger third parties who are going to try and influence um, for their own interests, but also number one uh, to ensure de-escalation of the crisis. So that's really what the book studies. So people who are interested in uh, the nuclear space or who are interested in India, Pakistan and South Asia or US foreign policy in South Asia. And that's who this book is really for.